latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Gabriela Pagan. Here are your headlines for Saturday, September 19th. Officers arrested a man for the murder of Daisy Martinez. Diego Calderon Guzman is now charged with second degree murder in 19 year old Martinez's death. He was stopped in a car on Westport Road yesterday and charged today. Martinez was at a Mexican Independence Day celebration on Southwest Boulevard when officers believe Calderon Guzman fired shots into the crowd, hitting and killing Martinez. Another young woman was also shot. As local leaders mourn Ruth Bader Ginsburg's death, a local activist says women must stand up and get back to work. Alice Kitchen is the co-chair of the Women's Equality Coalition in KC. She tells 41 Action News the fight for women's issues is not over and women must use their voice and do more to get involved. Equal pay, benefits and ratifying the Equal Rights Amendment are all things Kitchen said people can be fighting for today. And after discovering vandalism on a Black Lives Matter mural, people in the Briarcliff neighborhood decided to come out and make themselves feel welcome. Organizers say just being in the park, playing music and celebrating black culture is a form of protest. They say being black in America means constantly entering into spaces where they're not welcome. Organizers say the artist who designed the now vandalized mural showed up to this event and is apparently planning to repaint it. Your forecast with Wes is next. And waking up on Sunday morning to a partly cloudy sky and temperatures near about 50 degrees. A southeast wind sticks around with us tomorrow. So does a mostly sunny sky and still have that bit of a haze out there. A little warmer than Saturday, 75 for the forecast at high temperature on Sunday. We're near 80 just about every single day after Sunday, 79 for Monday and Tuesday, 78 on Wednesday, and then near 80 in the lower 80s as we head to the second half of the upcoming week. You can get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.